Oh yeah, um, <laughs> welcome to Project Marlin. Uh, it doesn't appear to be a project at the moment. Um, anyway, I've been having a think today. Um, actually, I'm supposed to be working today, but um, I'm tired. <laughs> I had a bad night's sleep last night. I was thinking in the night um, about this old girl. Um, this isn't one of these shallow shan't I sell it. That's, that's not where we're going with this. But I sort of miss doing these videos. Um, I've got to find the charger for the proper camera and I've got to find the charger for the microphones and the microphones and things like that to start doing videos again properly. I don't know where they are. Uh, but I thought we'd have a quick, right, what do I need to do? What's holding me up? And uh, I can't even remember now. Um, what's holding me up? What have I got to do? And what can I do? In the meantime so obviously the the big elephant in the room is the cab so the cab floor um, needs metal metal costs money I don't have the money at the moment although we're getting closer <laughs> we're getting closer to have a bit of funding um, I've um, got to have a, a, a proper think about how we're going to go ahead with the metal I would like to get it all laser cut and, and plates bent so it fits in without me having to mess around and cut it or, or do anything other than just grind it slightly to fit um, I've got a company that can do that I'd like to do a video on how we do that uh, but it requires computer CAD I've had a go at doing it but I've never done it before and I don't have the confidence in my own work <laughs> to be able to spend the sort of money and then find out it doesn't it's just all wrong so I've, I've got to tap up a couple of people um, um, at least one of those people might be watching <laughs> uh, about coming out doing some measuring and seeing if they could cut up the cab floor for me obviously that's not the end of the cab then we've got to um, get the windscreen done yeah because uh, of the crack in it that's going to be horrendously expensive um, th there's some work doing to be able to get a proper quote on the windscreen and, and be able to order it. Um, you might see, when you walk here, uh, this window is missing now. <laughs> uh, the wind basically blew it nearly out, but luckily it's down there in one piece. I, I spotted it before the wind took it off and we got it off. So, um, the cab needs money. Obviously, the windscreen, then there's buying the matting for the flooring, buying some new covering for the roof. I've got to track down some that looks looks right. Um, Obviously, there's a lot of welding that he's doing. So I need a welder, and I need to learn to weld. <laughs> I've got a friend of mine who's a very good welder. He's willing to come out and do some of it. Um, but I need to learn to weld properly anyway. Um, I can stick really thick bits of metal together in a horrible way, but it would be handy for my job to be able to weld. So that's on that list. I've got various electrical things that need to be sorted out, but without the cabin, uh, all put back together again, I can't really do the, the diagnostics to be able to, to track down where the problems are. Um, again, there's some air system problems. Um, in the lockers just behind me here, there's a behind that, up in, above the chassis, uh, there's a couple of air valves that's still leaking. I need to fix those, um, but although I could put air in the system, um, there's a couple of air tanks taken out underneath here. So I can't actually fill, and, and these are two tanks that fill first um, so I can't get air in the system to be able to to do some of that stuff uh, plus <laughs> we need to, to get this thing moved um, I don't know what's wrong with it I suspect the gearbox might have gone on it um, it doesn't belong to me uh, I know some people <laughs> that have seen videos on here and especially the ones that I've on extreme on extreme garage saw the farm yard and traps and stuff um, think it's all mine and I'm wealthy <laughs> it's not I am um, this is kept on somebody else's property um, who very kindly let me keep it here amongst um, well yeah, all sorts of junk <laughs> it's just another piece of junk here at the moment um, so I can't really do much with that I, we need to get the forklift in I need to buy the farm's forklift to be able to lift that locker down lots of stuff needs taken off to be able to get that again ideally I would like to not have it under those those power lines uh, when we do it so it could ideally be running the starting 
Um, I've got the light bar to rebuild, um, but all the bits of that are packed away um, because we're moving house in the next couple of months, hopefully. Um, and uh, oh, one thing I have got off at the moment is there's a fuel primer up on top of the engine. This thing, if you leave it overnight, fuel runs back to the tank. I need to find where the check valve is, either replace it or um, uh, just get it working again and stick it. But one of the problems I had was I wasn't able to prime the system because the pump wasn't working. So I've taken the pump off, uh, which was a nightmare. I dropped the, the knob off the top of the pump down into the bottom of the radiator, which meant I had to try and scrub it down, <laughs> wedge myself in there and, and hook it back out. But I got it. Um, it found out just the seals were dry. It was very dry in there. Um, I chucked in a bucket of duck oil and it started pumping again. So it's just sat soaking the duck oil at the moment. We'll put it back on, see if it works. If it primes great, if not, we'll have to find some seals for it. Uh, that's sort of, at the moment, there's not a lot else I can do. I mean, I can, there's lots of bits I need to search out. Um, but again, I, I, can't, I can't afford the parts at the moment. So there's no point in me trying to track down new lights. Oh, actually, while we're talking, talking of lights. So, this uh, rubber light here is a uh, model 166. If anybody has got one or two of these knocking about, um, please give me a shout. The one on the other side, the bulb holder is completely broken up and fallen to pieces. Um, and I, I desperately need one to, to be able to put it back in. It's not like it can easily retrofit something else in um, because of the shape of them. So if, if you know anyone that's got one of those, please give me a shout. Um, as long as they're not horrendously expensive, I could probably scrape the money together for them. Um, the project is going to go along. Um, times have been hard, times are going to get better. Um, and yeah, uh, we will try and do a bit of fundraising, um, whether that works or not. A few people have given some money to us on a just given page and that money is in an account um it's not enough to do any of the big jobs at the moment but when we've got some more money we'll put that with the money that we get uh, and do the big jobs anyway leading on i quite like making videos um but i haven't been making them because i've not really had anything to talk about on the truck on this channel and i've been i'm in an iron about whether to do some other videos about other things um sometimes to be about the truck and sort of projects uh, sometimes to be about other things that just interest me or, or rants and things and I can't decide whether to do it on this channel which would be helpful because it would get more views across the channel would potentially get us to monetize which would be great because again it's all helped to, to do the truck um, or do we I've got another channel um, I've got a couple of videos on from years ago um, should I put them on there? But then that doesn't drive... I want people to see this. <laughs> so anyway, I've got to decide about that. Um, but I thought I'd do a very quick... I say very quick, hang on. I do apologise for that. Uh, yeah, it's less than 10 minutes, so that's not too bad for me rambling on. A uh, very quick video. Um, I'm going to post up. I'm not going to edit it. I'm not going to uh, do any um, credits or anything on it. We'll just, just bang it up, I think. Um, yeah, so still here. I'm still here. Um, it's still in a real crappy state. When I've got five minutes, I'm doing little bits that I can do. Lots of other bits that need doing, but until I can get this cab sorted. In a way, I regret the cab was the important job to get done because that's the, the job that was going to mean it wasn't completely usable at all. But doing the cab when I did it, I thought I was going to have the money to do it sooner, and I haven't. But having the cab all dismantled means that I can't really do any other fault finding. I've got an air valve to change on the side of, of the truck that I, I it's actually um, one of the foam control valves. I've got the valve, but I don't see the point in <laughs> putting it in um, so it's in the elements rather than in my house um, until we can actually get it working and get the, 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 the lubricated air going through it. Um, we've got the, the monitor control stick, uh, joystick for upstairs, there's no point putting that on. One thing I can do is I need to sort out the gearbox kick down cable. Now I've got the manual from Rank, uh, it tells me how to set it up, um, but I cocked up slightly when I fitted the cable, the replacement cable to it. Um, but we'll come to that 
I'll, I'll, I'll do a little video on that when I get around to it. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Me just talking at the camera again. Uh, I know it's really boring for you guys. Um, I am very <laughs> itching to get back on um, doing doing stuff on the truck. Um, you can't believe how much I would love to do this. I mean, in a couple of weeks' time, we're going to I'm going to go to Castle Coombe Steam Rally, um, which is just up the road from me. Uh, that is in some one of the early videos. I was I was moaning that I wasn't going to be able to take the truck to steam rally in 2020 that i really wanted to that was local um two years down the line <laughs> this steam rally is coming up again uh, in two weeks time i think it is um i want to go along to it I might film some bits there if people are interested but i'll probably film some bits there even if you're not but um i might put it up and um yeah so we're sort of like two years behind already <laughs> and i'm itching to get it there i actually think i can work out a route to road it there that this thing will fit down without too much trouble um that's gonna be a few years yet anyway thanks for watching um click like subscribe if you haven't um yeah hopefully we'll see you back in news soon thanks a lot cheerio and toodle pip